right now. And I think that fundraising right now has been a much better experience because of COVID than otherwise. And I know that sounds yeah, can, odd, you, can, you sh- can you share more about that or is it because, so let me just guess. So intuitively I say it's probably easier to get meetings, right? Things are via Zoom. So there's less travel, especially with, I assume you might be raising capital from people all over the country. Well, okay. You're absolutely right. I mean, the coordination I've had, you know, over a dozen meetings, uh, well, well over a dozen meetings and, you know, to fly, you would have flown to each of those meetings. Right. So the time, the stress, the money involved, right? Yeah. That's, that's one part of it for sure. But the second part is, it's just more human because you're, you know, you're seeing into people's worlds, the, you know, these VC partners or whomever I'm, I'm, I'm working with, they're humans too. Mm-hmm. I'm human. You know, their dog walks into the, into, into the Zoom. My dog walks into the Zoom. And when you ask, and I think the most, most poignant kind of part of the meeting is when you say, hi, how are you? Mm. You actually get into a bit of a conversation about how you are because it's not a throwaway question in COVID world. It really isn't. That's so true. So I don't know. I mean, it'll be hard. There, maybe in the end, it, you know, there'll be harder parts. Like it's going to be, you know, you can't just come in and walk around the facility, you know, without a whole lot of planning. Sure. But this stage has been, it's been okay. I think too, like as an investor, we invest in some companies and that if you can see a founder and you can see exactly when they've been tested, which is COVID, right? It's on display and the numbers are what they are. And so as soon as you talk to somebody who's been able to pivot or a company that's been able to do a lot of the right things, it's actually, it's an immediate litmus test of, ah, this is someone I can, I can rely on, right? It's instant. And there's, you can't hide that, which is a, a beautiful, uh, you know, there's two ways of looking at COVID, but there's one of the pros I would say is that the business owners that have shifted, I would bet on for the long term because it shows that they have the staying power and the ability to rethink their business on the fly, which is valuable. Yeah. You know, I think that's a, I mean, that's an excellent point because yes, of course it's a litmus test for me too, in terms of who I'm dealing with, if I'm right. bringing on a new agency or, or how people are talking about it. And I just, it, it, I think it's going to expedite the conversation that, that we've been having, you know, collectively around doing the right thing. Right. So it's not enough for a food company just to have a product that tastes good. And as is at an accessible price, like that stopped being good enough a while ago, really. Yeah. And I'm not saying there's not a place for that, but you know, it became, the story has become, and what does the company do for others? Mm -hmm. And what is the, the mission of the company and how does it source things? And all of those things were becoming collectively more important than consumers' choices. But I think with COVID as the cloud, you know, over us right now, it's making those things like so darn clear, right? I want to buy stuff that's going to feed my family and nourish my family as best as I can. I want to choose companies that are employing people, you know, that are at least, you know, local, to whatever that means to, to them, right? Mm-hmm. They want to know that companies are doing more. And so I'm really excited for all the entrepreneurs out there, including ourselves, who are already on that path mm-hmm. because I think it just expedites it. Switching back to the, to the fundraising, how much are you raising? What, what, where are you guys on the funding? Are you like C, Series A, Series yeah. B? Um, we're Series B. Uh, we already have a partner and that partner is going to come in uh, with another commitment, which is fantastic. And we're looking for someone to lead the round. And we're looking for about five to seven million Canadians. So you can do the math on that. It's a lot less U.S. than sure. <laughs> U.S. dollars Yeah. <laughs> in terms of the exchange these days. But um, yeah, and it's, I mean, it's, we've got some great interest and um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to being able to execute the plan that we have. And as part of your, your Series B fundraising, what are some of the, the key pieces, key levers for growth that, that are in there? Is it distribution? Yeah. Is it getting in more? I mean, you're in a ton of stores already, um, but just give us a window into some of the key pieces of that strategy. Yeah, well, no, you nailed it. I mean, there is still a lot more distribution to be had. And in fact, I, I, you know, in terms of COVID, one of, from a business perspective, going back to the need to reforecast, we had about a thousand customers that were, we were already, we've already been awarded. And what that means is we're 
either set up in their system mm -hmm. or they said yes, right? An email exchange, yes, you're in. But that's the timing on all of that is up in the air. Sure. So we've had to shift out kind of the distribution assumption somewhat. So our growth is distribution, about half in distribution and the rest, uh, a combination of velocity and, uh, and some assortment, you know, increases of the number of products on the shelf. Right now we're sort of averaging four to five and we're projecting maybe seven out into the future years. And it's all very fact-based, uh, you know, and, and, and we think it's, it's achievable and, and it all comes down to, you know, our competitive advantage, which beyond our, our product uh, and, you know, our, our larger brand, because product is, you know, part of brand, mm -hmm. but uh, is, is the management team um, who comes from a background of CPG plus really successful um, startups. And, and it has to do with execution, right? And, and so we feel good about our plan. We're getting good, you know, we're getting positive feedback. I haven't, I've been broken up with a few times, but nor, no doors slammed or computers, <laughs> computers slammed on me. So that's good. <laughs> that's great. I mean, that look, that's positive. I think the, um, that's great advice. We have a lot of people that listen that are, are fundraising or probably in their head around, this is going to be really difficult. And so just your story around how much easier it is, I think is, is smart. And in my head, I was thinking like you could even do zoom tastings or you could at least ship them the products. They could taste it themselves on their Definitely own accord. Can. Yeah. Yes. We've, we've shipped them the products and the, the reality is, is that there's money out there looking to be invested in this yeah. space. And so I would encourage everybody to take it as a, as, as an opportunity and, and to your point showing, you know, what kind of a leader were you, are you during this period of time? What have you been able to achieve? Maybe your food service out of your business is shut down, but where have you pivoted on, you know, your retail business or your online business? And there's, there's money out there ready to listen. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh... See you later.